Hello, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Hello, hello. You hear the rain okay? Hang on, let's do a quick audio test here. Uh, Jason! Jason! Sean! They're coming out, okay? How y'all doing? Uh, you're all very welcome to the stream. Taking a sip of my water. Ah. I hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, I hope you're all excited for a cinematic masterpiece. With no flaws whatsoever. You know, and it's a statement on society and metaphors and the way that we see society and metaphors. Uh, we are playing a game. I, I don't even know how many people are familiar with this one now because th th this game's kind of old now. Uh, th 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 this game, I think it came out like 2010. Uh, it feels weird even saying this. You're probably more likely to know this game's director as the guy who did Detroit Become Human because Detroit Become Human is so much bigger than this game ever was. Uh, we are playing Heavy Rain. Uh, this is the David Cage game that kind of put David Cage on the map in regards to cinematic, the cinematic video game, the cinematic masterpiece. Very excited. Uh, and if you haven't seen any of this before, you are in for a treat. Possibly for the wrong reasons. I'm very excited. Is the audio okay? Does it sound alright? It's not too loud around there, no? Quite dramatic right now. We're good? Music is a bit loud. That's alright. It's supposed to be dramatic. It's supposed to be dramatic. It's only a little bit loud, that's okay. We want to get, like, audio. You know, I, we need to envelop you in the emotions that this game portrays. It's all about the emotions and the metaphor for society. I hope everyone's excited. Uh, this is one of those games that people enjoy for very different reasons, and you're going to quickly find out which camp you're in as we play. Uh, if you have any experience with Detroit Become Human, um, this game is like that. This is cinematic. Uh, this will be kind of this will be the first original big cinematic game that even went on to inspire things like Until Dawn. Like, like this, this pretty much put this kind of game on the map. This is the first one that did it and got very popular for doing it. Uh, and over the course of today and Thursday, we're gonna play it. Uh, cinema's never been the same since this game came about. Cinema doesn't exist anymore. It's hard to believe it just all ended. You know, Disney closed its doors. Marvel, like, God, it's been like 12 years since the last one. We don't, we don't watch movies anymore. We experience them. We live them. The way we consume entertainment has changed. Uh, Al, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna dive on into this. I'm very excited. I've never actually played this. I've seen someone play it way back in the day. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. I've uh, probably forgotten a lot of it. Uh, so we're gonna dive on in. I haven't actually started it yet, by the way. I just booted up the game. It like started immediately without letting me get to the main menu. I'll give people two more minutes to hop on in, and then we're then we're going. Tim, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Thank you very much. Steven Spielberg is crying in his bed right now. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we don't hear about Spielberg anymore. Oh, you know, it's it's kind of shocking. Ever since Mr. Cage came on the scene, like he's just been like kind of 
curled up in a ball crying into his millions of dollars. Hasn't been able to financially recover. Pyro, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, give me one second. Hang on. We good. Okay. Yeah, no spoilers, by the way. Sorry, I was just checking a few things there. No spoilers. I'll pop the chat in sub mode if I feel like people are spoiling it. Not even for myself, I feel like people are spoiling it for others. It's sub mode. This is a movie. My controller's plugged in as well. I don't know why it's saying that. <laughs> I don't know. Why is it saying that? My controller's plugged in. Don't tell me we're gonna have this again. Don't tell- it's- it's not the right kind of USB-C fucking- Hang on, okay, I gotta get the Nintendo brand cable for my PS5 controller. Oh, it's not gonna work. Hang on, give me one second. I can't believe- I don't want- I'm not having this shit happen again. You got two minutes to come in the stream. I'll be right back. Where's this goddamn cable? emotions and the experience. David Cage wants you to feel connected. But you gotta physically connect your buttons. I think I found the connection. Nintendo brand cable acquired. The only one my PS5 accepts for some reason. Oh, there we go. How y'all doing? Okay, it's plugged in. Thank you, how you doing? Good to see you. Alright. It's time for emotions. Get ready. Uh, we'll just, we'll just go save slot two. The most cinematic game ever made. Oh, cinema's been real quiet since this game came on the scene. Never been felt more connected or engaged with an emotional experience. It's about society and metaphors for society, and how you feel connected to society. Or, you know, the average day in Ireland with a bit of drizzle. It was raining today. There's was something fierce. There's a man's ass. Do you feel connected to that man's ass? 
Because it's about society. It's about how connected you are to this experience. Be okay then. <laughs> okay, to interact, make the, the indicated move with the right stick. He's living in his, like, designer hotel. Very expensive real estate. Try to do it slowly to see how you control the animation speed. <laughs> well, R2 to walk, use the left stick to change direction. Oh, God, that's clunky. If I'm not holding R2, he just... <laughs> they get to get those morning aerobics in, go on. Turn a bit here, turn a bit. Let's get dressed. No, no, we're going naked. Okay, it's one of those days. Anytime you can listen to what your character thinks by pressing and holding down L2. He needs the shower. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Okay. Well, can we go out the window? Yeah, I, I think we can, actually. Hang on. Oh, Jesus, the fucking bloom. <laughs> no! No, go, go out the window. Go out the window. Come on. It just, just, just hop down here. Feel very connected. The fucking designer home he's got. Like, Jesus Christ, this guy must be loaded. In this economy. Look how much space he has. He's got like a tent for his kids. Oh, he's a fucking banker. Okay. Interact, make the indicated move with the right stick. What we got here? Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. Let's <laughs> just sit here, Mo. <laughs> he's really got to take this letter in. What did I drink last night? I think this game is locked to 30 FPS as well, in case it looks choppy. Uh, this is the PS4 remaster, but 30 FPS. It's part of the cinematic experience. Oh, we got a caged bird. Book called Bridges there. That's probably going to be important. Remember. What we got? Actions requiring timing and precision. Press the indicated button as soon as it appears. <laughs> and you know, it's about emotions. And society and feeling connected to your character. This is how you practice your quick time events. There we go, we can put them back there. Game of the year, game of the year, yeah. In case you're wondering, so it's like, Jesus, like, what, why is he, why is he kind of fucking going on about emotions and society and metaphors? So, the guy who made this, uh, David Cage, he's a bit renowned in the industry, uh, not only for being a bit of a twat, we can say that now, a bit of a twat, Bit of a bastard, uh, but also for like overselling his games um, and like like being real big on the metaphors and the emotions and shit. No, it's all part of the cinematic experience. In case you wonder what we're going on about there, there's like a lot of interviews where he talks about these games and it's like 
And that's kind of like how he talks about them. It's like, it's not just about connecting people with a character. It's about connecting people with an experience in a video game. I want to transcend what this medium can do. Like that kind of talk. You know, the artist who's kind of full of himself. You know, you have to bear in mind that everything we see in this game is a metaphor and part of the vision. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. <laughs> they really need that fucking shower. And the thing is, the game, the games can be quite fun to play still, because this kind of cinematic game, but they tend to get a bit grandiose as time goes on. It's not quite a shower, but we're getting there. This game must be an English teacher's favorite. Probably not, because uh, a basic English teacher could tell you, uh, like, <laughs> what's going on here pretty easy, I feel. I don't know if David spoke to an English teacher. Right. Turn your head to see which actions are available. Look in the shower. Are we going to need the goofy sensor here? We might. Be very careful now. Keep it behind that glass. He didn't wash his hands before he went in there, too. <laughs> Move the controller up and down quickly. This is... Sorry. This is how you feel immersed. My hands hurt. He's cutting it close with all these camera angles. We're all right. We're all right. We've had our shower. I think he's trying to smile. <laughs> I think. We can brush our teeth too. You know, we, we really got to get ready for the day that's ahead of us. <laughs> he's giving us a lot of options here. You really want to take your time. Brush your teeth. You can actually feel connected with the experience of a man brushing his teeth. Incredible. Oh, yeah, no, we gotta floss as well. No, we gotta shave. We gotta shave. Can I just fuck this up? <laughs> Ow! Ow, oh, Jesus! Oh my god! Oh, that really hurts! <laughs> he's gonna just- He's just gonna come out of his home. Jason's gonna see him for his birthday. He's like, Dad, what happened? <laughs> you gotta go slow. He's not even using any, like, shaving cream. <laughs> What's this? Ow! No cream, no gel or anything. He's just going dry. Look at Mr. Bean shaving here. This is how you hurt yourself. That would really hurt. He's not even going to pop on moisturizer or anything. Like, his face would feel like sand. We have a bat. Okay, no, we can't. Alright. Press L1 to switch camera angles. Use them to explore your environment. <laughs> yeah, I feel much more connected now. Hang on, can I, can I put on some clothes? Go, let's get changed. Ready for the day. Is 
His face would just be like raw at this point. I shave again. Hang on. Oh, he's struggling. One more round. Hang on. No, you can't do it twice. Okay. I'm pretty sure that car has just been driving around that block. If we wait here, we might see it again. Okay, come on. He's really struggling on the stairs. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Why does he keep stopping? The character's thoughts change with the situation. Remember to check them regularly. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Okay. Well, what work can we do? can look at the window. Important work. We make like a sandwich or something. Is that part of the work? Hang on. Let's drink, drink, drink the juice. Oh, you gotta shake it. You gotta shake it. Got to feel connected to this orange juice. <coughs> He's just drinking straight from the carrot, and that's disgusting. And he coughed after that. He's probably got a cold. Let's make a cup of coffee, too. Yeah, important work to do. Oh, just, just, just chug it. Just chug it. Coffee and juice acquired. Let's just play with the remote control car while, yeah. Didn't even clean up after himself either, yeah. It's just leaving out on the floor. That, someone's gonna fall. It's just like... It, Setting himself up for disaster here. I can look out the garden some more. What what work do I have to do? What we got here. What? Oh, creative architecture, of course. He's studying. This is the commentary on the architecture of this game. Gonna be blown away by how creative it is. He read the entire book. Happy birthday, Jason. Oh, wait, 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 what else we got? Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Is this copyright? Oh, let's turn it off. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It's gonna be hard to tell. Okay, come on. He's really struggling on the steps, our man. Yeah, let's get to work. Design and architecture. There we go. Look at him go. He didn't even use a ruler for that. Apparently he doesn't need one. I've, I've done design and communication graphics. You're supposed to measure this shit out.
He's just good to, uh, He's done. <laughs> well, that's a good architecture for today. <laughs> oh no, he messed it up. I gotta trace the line. Gotta add the finer details. Press and hold down each button, appearing until they all disappear. And then L1. And circle. That one line you need a ruler for. Now he's using the ruler, yep. He's got his T-square out. Bad end and you failed to draw a line. <laughs> We need to keep adding details. We, it's not enough. Gotta improve it. Did he miss, make a mistake with the rubber? It. Oh, there you go, there you go. He's giving up. He's confused. <sighs> Gotta keep going. Yeah, just too complicated layers of shade. <laughs> There's like several different layers being done simultaneously. <laughs> it's actually all digital. It's actually all digital here. He's not even using real paper. This is all just an elaborate tablet. It's not enough. What oh, did he mess up his signature? There the you go. The plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. This is future home. Gonna cost him twelve million dollars. This one already cost six million, apparently. It's not even plans. Like he's he's just doing concept architecture. I think there's there's no blueprint here. I don't know why he sounds like a robot as well. Something wrong with the audio there. It's Detroit become human. My god, they foreshadowed it even back then. Give him a breakout to eat. Just acquired a new host and isn't used to the feeling of skin on his body. That car is just swerving around the neighborhood. Uh, that car has like, come in here like four times. I don't know where they're trying to get them. Very clearly lost. I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden. Yeah, he's done enough work for the day. Done enough work. It took him longer to drink the orange juice out of the carton than... Is this grand architecture? Oh. <laughs> the life of Mark Zuckerberg, the game. <laughs> this is what. My, this is the metaverse. Oh my god. No, it actually makes sense now. So, this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? This is what everyone thinks life in the metaverse is gonna be like. But you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. Ethan, can you please help me? I'm coming. Press and hold down each button until they all disappear. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to give you a hug, Grace. I. I Never mind. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just wasn't thinking. 
This man is learning how to feel. He doesn't know what emotions are. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? I drank the orange juice. I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details, and then I should be ready to present the plan to the client. Ugh, oh, I've got. You need a hand. To do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. No problem. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm on it. Excuse me. That that car just went around the block again. Did you see that car? <laughs> hey, Ethan. I thought I asked you to take care of the place. I'm looking for them. They're, they're... I forgot. They're in the living room cupboard, right? <laughs> yeah. They haven't moved since last time I asked. Oh, they're down there. Oh, sorry. I Look. It's an open floor plan. It's kind of hard to tell what's the living room. This is, strictly speaking, is the dining room. I got it. That's the set my mother gave us. Be careful, okay? Don't worry. I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. Hey, Ethan. <laughs> you said you were going to be careful. I'm sorry. I'll be more gentle. I'm just setting the table. I know, I know. I'm, I'm setting the table, woman. <laughs> oh no. She's very upset. Ethan. I know, I know. I'm being careful. <laughs> I'm upset. Okay, it's all right. Table set. Ethan? Like, Grace, please. Do I play frisbee with the plates? No, I can't play frisbee with the plates. I don't know if I've already told you this today, Mrs. Mars. But I find you very attractive. You're not so bad yourself, Mr. Mars. <laughs> no, I don't I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this. Come on, go away. I've got work to do. I just just wanted good friends. When are Jason's friends coming? Oh, uh about two PM. Oh god, I hope I'll be able to keep the situation under control. Not like last year. Not last year. Did you buy Jason a present? Did you find the present for Jason? Yeah, I uh, picked it up from the store this morning. Oh, we were lucky. It was the last one in stock. Jason looks happy. Yeah. It's getting my aerobics it's hard then. I believe he's 10 years old today. It seems like only yesterday we were flirting in high school. Gotta get those stretches. Can I do anything to help? No thanks. I should be able to manage. Okay. Our job here is done. We can get back to work. Finished. Now I can relax and seize the day. Get back to work. That car made the round again on that block, didn't it? <laughs> I think I saw it. Get back to work. No, no, I can't do that yet. I gotta go play in the garden. Oh. 
pick out someone's eye. I, I don't think I can go talk to them, can I? Oh no, wait, no, the, the door is open. Okay. <laughs> I'm like a cat here. It's like, oh man, I really wish I could go outside. <laughs> Just lock them out. That's it, I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat, because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. Who wants to go first? Me first! No, me, me first! first. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. Um. <laughs> me first! Me first! No, me first! Which is the fit preferred child? I want to do the helicopter. It's my turn now, it's my turn! Which is the preferred child? Do me up in the air. Okay. Away you go. I, 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 I'm struggling. The old man's not as strong as he used to be. Hey, Sean, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Look, Dad, I'm flying! <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just put him down really far away. No, I can't put him down there. Can I just ignore my other child. Put him down. It's my turn now. <laughs> yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you, son? You'd really think so. Painful. <laughs> My wife is just like planning her divorce. All right. All right, Jason. Let's do the helicopter. I'll <laughs> oh, just let go. Come on, Dad. Show us how yeah, strong show you us are. Big muscles. Be careful. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason all three of them look like they're at different stages of taking a poop. Is it just me? Okay, let's lift them up. Let's lift them up. <laughs> Exhausted. Oh, we got combat music now. This time you're done for. You're gonna pay for all your crimes. Oh, we're gonna kick the shit out of them. <laughs> Surrender, weakling. Say your prayer. <laughs> Get him. I'm not gonna fail any of these. I'm not gonna let the kid get a single strike on me. Show him a thing or two. Yo, son, sometimes life is cruel. Sometimes you just gotta walk away, son. You can't overcome all adversity. Sometimes you just need to know your place, child. Yeah. 
case it's going down. <laughs> Finish him off, Ethan. Have our dinner. Lunch is ready. Is that I'll just the entire cabbage or like lettuce? You see that? That's just like a let. That's just like an iceberg. You know, how, how do I set the table? <laughs> how do I? Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. It's Sean. Where, where is Sean? Is he in my office? Hang on. Ethan, please get Sean now. I, I'm looking. I'm I'm starting a search. There's only so fast I can go. Is he upstairs? It's <laughs> fucking house. I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> the lettuce is getting cold. I'm looking for him. I, oh wait, no, there he is. Hang on, let me let me let me just turn around. That car just made. The, did you see that car again? I'm not imagining that. That car has done nothing but circle this neighborhood like six times. There it goes again. What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. Oh no! No it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, How did the bird die? There's some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. Wait, wait, no, but how did the bird die? It's not fair. Why is the bird dead? It was fine like two minutes ago. I know. What? What happened? Why is the bird dead? <laughs> Did I not play with my kids correctly? So the bird's gone. I don't know. There's a metaphor here somewhere. Hang on, wait, wait. Oh, Jesus, the pause menu has a lot of fucking rain and it. it's really hard to see anything. Uh, I'm thinking I turn the music down a bit just so we can hear the voices better. There we go. That feels unbelievably louder, but okay. Alright. Why is that- why is that so much louder? I- I turned it down, didn't I? That's even louder! <laughs> That's so what? Do I have to turn it up? <laughs> There's no difference. Come on, okay. Come on, honey. <laughs> I think it's quieter now. <laughs> Jason! 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 Where'd Jason go? Jason! 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 
Jason. <laughs> where, where, Jason. Where did he go? Jason. 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 Like, he's Jason. not walking very fast for his child Jason. missing. Jason. Just. Jason. 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 This guy's probably getting a little Jason. freaked out by now. Jason. 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 He doesn't know Jason. what to do, but at this point he's too he's too Jason. scared to say anything. Jason. 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 Hey, excuse me. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Jason. Mind if I join? <laughs> Jason. Wait, what's going Jason. on with that? <laughs> oh, that man is like high as a kite. He doesn't know where he is right now. Hang on. Hang on let's get over there. His name might be Jason. No, where did he go? Where did he go? Where is he? <laughs> He's gone. Jason. <laughs> Jason. <sighs> I don't know what happened. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, here's our child. Jason, you really shouldn't run her off like that, you know? I got- I gotta see if I could change the audio, hang on. I, I, is it making a difference? What if I, like, set it to mute? Awful lot of people in Please, Dad, can I have- Well, actually, there's no audio playing, hang on. Sound effects down a bit. There, music there. Have one? I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Okay, let's get a Great. balloon. Hey, champ. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? This man is uh, absolutely terrifying. Like the clown industry, I feel like, has not been faring well since like it became really popular. They've not really recovered. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. It's really crowded in here. Wait. Hang on. Okay. Let me. Yeah, come on. Your, your child's just getting away. Keep the change. There we go. Okay, wh where where is he gone? It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and he just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. Yeah, let's find him. Jason! Jason! Okay, it's not that balloon. Jason! Jason! Now, where is it? Jason! I'm searching. Jason! Jason! I'm searching. Jason! Jason! Alright. You could probably run a little faster if you wanted to. Jesus, the shopping mall has gotten Jason. very busy all of a sudden. Why is there so many people Jason. here, son? <laughs> what? Jason! There's the balloon. Jason! Jason! Jason. What? Jason. There's so many people! Jason! 
It's fucking Comic Con all of a sudden. Jason. Jason. Why is there so many? Jason. 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 Oh, there's the balloon. I got. Jason. Hey man, watch where you're going. Jason. How far did this kid run? Jason. 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 There's another balloon. Jason. Jason. Another balloon. Hang on. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Where are these people even walking? Follow that guy in the white suit. Where is he going? No, no, wait, a, ch a child. Hang on. Jason. Is... Oh my god, get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way. Jason. People are just going in fucking circles in the middle of the door. Jason. How do you get across the street? Across the street. Oh no. No, what are you doing? Jason! Jason! Oh my god, no. No. No, Jason, oh my god. Wait, is he actually dead? Surely the dad took the hit there. Oh. Did the dad do like a double barrel roll or something and like actually redirect Jason in front of the fucking car? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he did a fucking loop. How do you get across the road? <laughs> Quantic Dream Production. Oh, Jesus. Now we have happy rain. The rain is a metaphor, do you understand? It represents a depression in society. He's never been the same. It represents his state of mind. Apparently, we have to sell our... Do we have to sell our home? Are we somewhere that different now? Watch children. <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> Those are just random people. <laughs> All about life in our modern society. It is another child. The metaverse ain't looking too good. <laughs> Uh, the graphical quality's not the same. They tried to go for more realistic, like Call of Duty hues. Hasn't done him any favors. Don't think the Zuck is looking much better. about the garbage pile of society, the difficulty of living in this world full of industry and capitalism. <laughs> Do 
He stands in the heavy rain a lot now. Oh, oh sorry, I have to hold R2. Sorry, I keep thinking I can just use the left control stick. There we go. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. Wheels on the other side. Hang on. John's okay, at least. We got. We still got one child. Doing all right. Well, they want to. Probably not the best place to be pointing that mirror, but all right. Oh yeah, safety first. Putting himself at risk, he can't see what's behind him anymore. Written and directed by David Cage. Get ready for some emotions. Is this a Nuzlocke? Jason is permanently dead. We can't revive him at the Pokemon Center. It's unfortunate. Gonna have to continue from here. Still got one Pokemon left in the team, though, you know? I think he's level 12 now. Get some experience under his belt. He's gonna be all right. Attack of the gym. Oh, we lost, we lost the bird as well. Oh, sorry. This looks like the exact home from Detroit Become Human. Is it just me? It looks very similar. Let's sit in the chair. Just gonna, I'm just gonna sit in the corner and watch him. Sean's gonna be really freaked out after a while. <laughs> Gus. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends, how things are going. Nothing special. Now, can we turn off this TV for like two minutes? What's going on here? What are you watching? Just stand in front of the TV this entire time, by the way. Yeah, no wonder he's moving. <laughs> Actual, like, animation here. What's going on? <laughs> he just left. I don't know where he's gone. No, let's check the board. 4.30 snack, 6 o'clock homework, 7 o'clock dinner, 7, oh, 8 o'clock bed. Let me stand in the heavy rain a while again. It's supposed to be depressing with the rain here and the house change because instead of like the 1.5 million dollar mansion uh, Like Ethan lives in like standard accommodation now Isn't that miserable He's like an ordinary person now
I'm, I'm never gonna get this. Let's play some basketball. Come on. But they made it easy. <laughs> Should I be stopping him? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> he's just working away. I'm, I'm sure he's gonna be okay. Uh, he knows how to take care of himself. He can just help himself to, to the, the good crisps there. You're supposed to give him the snack. Oh, I did kind of forget. Hang on. Kronos, thanks for a thousand bits. I'm sorry, Dan, but the metaphorical rain is too hard for me to understand. Could you explain it one more time? <laughs> okay, I know it's complicated. I'm gonna dissect this step by step. Let me just drink more of the orange juice. <laughs> It didn't... How do you fail shaking orange juice? Come on, Eden. Come on. Get it that... Get it in your system. <laughs> hey, Sean, you didn't want any of this, did you? I think I'm just gonna work away on this. <laughs> You didn't like bits, did you? <laughs> okay, let's put that away. Wait, was there a beer in there? Could I have taken the beer? I think I might have been able to... I might have been able to take the beer. He's gonna be very anxious if we sit there, and maybe we should get up. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. Okay. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Okay, but we'll see about it later. Greece has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Sean's sneezing. I think he's catching a cold. How you doing, Sean? Son? That's all. <laughs> he, he's just staring at the TV as well. He's not even looking at his dad. <laughs> and you see that he's just probably re like, Dad, you're making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> You wanna play? What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. How's school? How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Sean, do you wanna do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? Now! I think we should just get right to it, then it's done and out of the way. Now, get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. I'm gonna have a fun time at Dad's. I'm gonna teach her differential equations. Not making dinner until you learn them. Well, right, take your homework. He looks like he hasn't slept for days. Like, Sean or the dad? Cause yeah, I, I I would say like Sean honestly looks a bit worse for wear right now. We're just ignoring the schedule as well. 
I'm just gonna... Yeah, you go... I gotta go play some more basketball, Sean. <laughs> you can have fun like your old man once you finish your mats. <laughs> I'm not even gonna help him. Ah, oh, damn it. I missed again. I got it this time for sure. There we go. Getting real good. Okay, put the basketball down. Let's let's see how he's getting on with his homework. Should be finished it by now. Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Oh, wait, is this my door? Let me inspect the homework. Let me have a look. <laughs> his hands are just it soaking like wet as well because he went outside in the rain. Go. Tussles his hair there. It's like, ah, dad! <laughs> At least use a towel! <laughs> it is absolutely soaked. He already probably has a cold and like we just like... <laughs> thousand him. In water. It's gonna catch hypothermia. I gotta make him dinner. Come to think of it, if he's not asking for anything, it must be because he's not hungry. <laughs> Just don't feed him. It's dinner time. I'd better make something for Sean. Yeah, what we got in the fridge? No, I, I don't think we have anything in the fridge. Isn't that a clock? Or anything back here? Tinned foods and cleaning products together. Start, do our laundry. It's just Mr. Snuggles. Can't sleep at night without him. I'm gonna go play some more basketball. <laughs> Play some more basketball. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get. Ah, oh, damn it. Really tough. Put that back down. It's just gonna be soaked again. Okay, you hungry, Sean? Hang on. Wait, where's the fridge? There we go. Where, where am I getting the food? Do I not have food? Come on, Sean. Oh, Take no, I meant, I meant... I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? I meant to make you food. I just sent him to bed. Now that's not very reasonable. No, I meant no, more. as in you don't go to some... bed. All right, I'm going. <laughs> no. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Oh shit! I forgot to feed him. <laughs> I better turn off the TV. <laughs> Losing custody speed run. <laughs> this kid is not long for the world. He's uh, he's not doing too good here. I I try. I meant to feed him. I did actually mean to feed him. That was an accident. 
Origami Killer strikes again. Seven victims identified. The police will confirm that the modus operandi is indeed that of the Origami Killer. He's like horrified by the newspaper. <laughs> there are basketball in the front garden. Uh. Eaton Mars. Got a letter. What do we think's inside? Personal. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. Well, that's a real creepy letter. Let's not dwell on that. <laughs> Ethan, you're not gonna question that? He's got no thoughts. Oh well, off the bed. Not gonna think about that at all. Why, why wouldn't he say anything? Let's just take a piss, yeah, sure. <laughs> this is the mechanics we need. Yeah, come on. Not even gonna use the towel. Oh, sorry, I forgot the flush. I need to wash my hands again. Okay, I can't wash my hands anymore, right? That's probably pr pretty bad. I think he rinsed his hands, he didn't even use soap. Oh, Jesus. Well, good night, Sean. Or does not on your mind you want to talk my about. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. <laughs> Too bad! <laughs> All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? Let's go look for Mr. Snuggles. Wait, wait! Why is that just floating? Why is it doing that? Let's just close the blind. <laughs> We're not even that far into the game. I'm surprised we have a glitch like that already. <laughs> Okay, let me, let me hop downstairs again. The paper has ascended similar to Jason. Of course. Oh, I can go play basketball one more time. Hang on. Gotta get those sick hoops, come on. Gotta show your old man can't be beat. There we go, we're getting better. Why was the TV on? Did it turn itself back on?
No, it's off. Uh, no, is it off? <laughs> what? What the fuck's happening? <laughs> I think your house is haunted, Ethan. <laughs> Get the TV broke, yeah, it lost picture quality. All part of the cinematic experience. There we go, let's get take the teddy bear. Oh, come on. Come on, Aiden. Let's just check the TV again. <laughs> That's actually so creepy. That's two glitches so far as well. I think that's two. Add to the experience, yeah. It's all part of David Cage's vision. <laughs> Fucking paper. Okay, here's the teddy bear. Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Set him to bed hungry. Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean. Not your fault, but also here's me like drawing a picture of it as well. It absolutely was our fault. Apparently, we did a fucking flip against the car. I think we like, cause the the, the camera shot we had, it looked like we saved him. <laughs> oh. What? What's happening? Oh, in the rain now. Okay. Welcome to Silent Hill. Arnaby Corner North. I think we had too much orange juice. Oh, jeez! Oh, he scared the shit out of me. Oh, Jesus. There was someone new. Head on in. It's gumshoe. Gum, gumshoe's look. I think gumshoe's a little worse for wear. <laughs> gumshoe looks a bit more miserable and serious than I remember. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh. Oh. That Lauren Winter. Third floor. Last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Okay. Head on in. Five dollars? It's not much of a bribe, is it? Go buy yourself a packet of Pokemon cards. 
Oh wow, anything you want, sir. Yeah, you need to know like where this person's hiding. I can give you I can give you like the credit card details. Was it this one? Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh wait. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. What is happening? Oh shit, I should use my last five dollars. You got exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Let me just look in your fridge. Yeah, what else can I do? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? Oh no. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have no Quick aside, I've just looked in chat. Someone just contributed to my Cult of the Lamb totem. Um, that probably shouldn't be enabled, but thank you. Um, we're not playing that game tonight. I don't know why you're doing that. I hope that's not interrupting the stream feed too much. <laughs> do, do I need to turn that off? That's not like a massive overlay right now, is it? <laughs> No, it's fine. Okay, all right. I'm ju just, yeah. I just spotted that. It's like, oh, well, that probably shouldn't be on. <laughs> but thank you for your support. Let's carry on. Nothing to add. Leave me alone. Uh, convince. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead. So what difference does it make? Uh. Passionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. You can pay it by or trick. Or we could just stand here. I, to I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. I haven't actually you paid her yet. Pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. I haven't actually paid her Get for her time out. at all. Uh <laughs> So could uh can we talk or uh Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Let me just look around real quick. See if there's anything I can interact with. Let me just uh, inspect the furniture. <laughs> Going for a stroll. I got 10 minutes. Might as well get my money's worth. We use the loo? No, we can't get in there. Okay, oh. <laughs> hey, Scott, how you doing? That's not the door. Okay, hang on. <laughs> oh! <coughs> oh, no. I'm coughing too. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god, I'm alright. I think he's alright too. Just drinking some water. Yeah, get your inhaler, Scott.
Didn't sound like there was much left in that. Lauren. <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Sorry, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. But I really wanted to see ya. Um. Yeah, we should probably intervene here. This doesn't sound good. Not calmly, yeah, she's only screaming. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Yeah, come on, Scott. Here we go. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. Oh. I guess we're just going for it. Jesus, he was going for the fucking lampshade. Come on. You can take him, Scott. Gotta shake it. Come on, Scott. It's a strong bottle, didn't break. Oh my god, how much of the kitchen are we gonna fight her out? No! Jesus Christ, he's really gunning for us. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'll see you again. Yeah, we got him. That was a lengthy fight. Are you all right? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Not looks pretty hurt. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh. It's pretty beat up. Oh. It's just thanks. <laughs> Nothing more to say. Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. Tuesday, 8 a.m., 0 0.6 inches. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, we are a new guy now, yeah? This isn't Ethan. I thought it might have been Ethan just because of, like, the mark from where he cut himself shaven. This is someone new. Looks a bit out of it. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Do I? No, oh, I do. I do. Check. You can pass. It's like made of paper. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. <laughs> Why is that guy not Thanks. even looking at us? <laughs> he's not even making- he's just staring off into space. Oh. Yeah, no, come on. Come on, Norman.
Got our cool sunglasses. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Okay, he's got like AR. ARI on. Okay, so we can like investigate, can we? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. So over here. Thanks. What's this? Oh, I can take them off if I don't want like the vision or something. Okay. Now it's the metaverse. <laughs> the new Oculus Quest. Yeah, you can shop in virtual Walmart wherever you go. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Was there a bulldozer? I, I can't hear anything over the rain. So, what happened? Where's the bulldozer? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Where's the bulldozer? Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Uh. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna catch a cold. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. And we're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. No, I mean, it's a valid that. question. That's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. You just leave. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Yeah, we can use our fancy glasses and find hey, some Jayden, stuff. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. A guy looks a bit out of it. Pop these back on. I'm raining here. <laughs> So what, what am I looking for, do you think? Oh. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Okay, it's over here. Very common. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Oh, there is something. Nope. No, oh, hang on. I, I see something. Hang on. My God, there's no trains. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Follow the trail. Harry Common. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. 
Norman truly is the prototype of Connor, but you wish Quantum Dream made a game solely about detective work. I mean, they kind of incorporate it here, it seems, unlike between the Detroit Become Human. I am getting a bit of a Connor vibe from this guy. The other guy even reminds me of Hank a little, just with his demeanor. Oh. Got really badly hurt, apparently. Come on, you got it, you got it. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's really struggling. Press and hold. And then L1. And then X. And then square. Tough small hill. Gotta keep climbing. I wasn't born this dangerous. Keep climbing. I don't even know if this helps us. <laughs> no! No, he's okay. The music is getting really dramatic because we had that slight stumble. I got it, Norman. The rain is too heavy. A little higher. Okay, how does this help us? walk out onto the road. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Keep going. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Can I just walk out here? It seems like I'm asking for trouble. No, I can't. Excuse me here. Excuse me. Investigating a crime scene. Okay, I can take off the glasses. I, I got everything here, I think. I think I gotta hop back down the hill. What happens if I just fall the entire way? Hang on, just let him go. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. It's covered in muck. Oh. Watch the rail tracks. <laughs> so <laughs> His coat is filthy. Okay, where, where, where's your man? Where'd he go? Got some there. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Um. Is there anything else to gather? Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Okay, they just decide Take themselves. All the time you want. They decide themselves. Jesus, Norman! Like, what? What happened? Covered in filth. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. It's holding some origami.
and the orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Less than 12 hours. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. I don't know how the paper origami has survived considering the very heavy rain. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Check his shoes. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. Okay. Anything else? His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. I think that's everything. I think we got all the details. You could just... You know, let me search for clues. I think we're okay. I think I've seen all there is to see. Let's pop our glasses off. Uh, if that's everything, let's get going. Let's just walk on out. He's got a power glove. He does feel it. God, he's covered. Come on. I guess we just get in our car and go? car is going to be filthy now. Wait, no, oh, sorry, that, that just gets out of the car again. Hang on. Hop back in there. There we go. Start the car. The menacing music plays. Guess we didn't tell. Don't tell the scene lead anything. Yeah, where did he go? I, I, he said he headed back to the office. We stayed a little longer. We, we'll catch up with him later. I take it. Yeah. You've unlocked the what? Gone. What's happening here? Uh. The butterfly. It's a wolf. A wolf's head. It's a crab. A crab. Uh, that's death. 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 God, what an intimidating office. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so freaked out. Like where a Bond villain has his lair. Your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage. Welcome to accident. ego. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. There's a metaphor here. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? For some reason, Jason seemed to sprint out of that shopping mall, too. I don't know what's going on there. He got really far away in a short bit of time. Oh. I know he's disappointed in me. It, uh, it auto-selects if you don't pick one in time. He's a great kid, you know. He deserves better. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? 
I don't like the blare and anxiety light on your monitor. I'm gonna be honest, doctor. I this feel sort of anesthetized, as if none of this was real. Sometimes I tell myself this whole thing is just a nightmare and that I'll wake up at any moment. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh. Um, having blackouts. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. I mean, I'm sure there's been some research That's the there. end of this session. Uh, uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky. I don't think that's a new thing. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. He was in a coma and his wife left him. I mean, I, I imagine his wife left him after the coma. That might, that might be a bit weird. Well, Sean's okay. You're hungry? Do you want to eat something? Remember when I forgot to feed you last night? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. How was school? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Oh, this is awkward. Hey, you, you wanna... You wanna play some basketball? Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Well, I'm gonna get up and play some basketball. We don't both have to be miserable, Sean. Let's get on that seesaw. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! He sounds very excited. Just leave him there. Hey, but come over here. Like, like, look. Look at the merry-go-round. Come on, Dad. Make me fly. Put your full weight into it, Eden. Fucking catapult him. You can make him go higher. What happens if you fail this? Oh, he just gives up. Okay. That was good fun. What about Mary that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! I don't think that's how kids talk. <laughs> oh no. Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. Here we go. Faster. Faster. Come on. Faster, faster. I'll show you faster, son!
<laughs> I'll put you in the orbit. <laughs> Training for astronauts, though. <laughs> oh, Ethan sounds alive again. Okay, it's debatable. Debatable. Might not be. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. He's trying. He's try just leave. Yeah, just leave. Get out of there. Let's go on the swings. Come on, Sean. We can still have some fun. You wanna go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Sean isn't worth saving, I guess. Ungrateful child. Yo, Jason loved that balloon. He would have loved the chewies. Oh, no. <laughs> the anticipation. Yo, you gotta really shock him. Gotta make sure he does like a loop over the frame. That's like the goal of every kid. You remember like being on the swing when you're young and it's like, I, I wanna go higher, I wanna go higher. And then you get to that point where it's like, oh god, it's uncomfortably high. Where like the, the chain goes slack. That's where we need to send this child. You're actually not sure they're gonna be okay. <laughs> I jumped off at that point once, I don't recommend it. I jumped off it a bunch of times too. That's probably why my knee is sore, like 20 years later. It's a merry-go-round. Oh, wait, no, can I not interact with that? That seems like quite an elaborate thing to have in, like, the children's playground. Oh, he wants to go again. Oh, hang on. Okay, he's not done. Hang on. Go leave. <laughs> Just walk oh, out. Dad. I think you've been high enough today, son. I don't want to play that game anymore. <laughs> you miss one push, and he's mad at you. I just walk out. Oh, I'm kind of done. See you later, Sean. Go get an Uber or something. Go find your way up. No, I can't walk out. Can I not interact with the giant merry-go-round? Where do you go now? Just wants to sit down a while. Looks like rain's coming. I think you better go. Okay. Looks like some heavy rain. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Alright, come on, let's go.
Head on home. <laughs> People are saying really mean things about Sean. <laughs> In the chat. Hey Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. No, I'm not talking to you, Sean. I'm gonna look the other way. I gotta go buy the ticket. One, please. That's the dollar. Distortion at pricing. We go. He's just a worse Jason. Jesus Christ. He should have been grateful for the strawberry candy. Oh no. Oh, jeez, no, I didn't. No, he's fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought he died. <laughs> I did not expect that. I, I put the controller down in my lap. I should be ready for anything, including, like, uh, flashing into a truck. Also, as that glitched out weirdly there, did you, for, like, a frame. Where the fuck are we? No! <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's been hours, man. I don't think he's here anymore. At least take his bag, man. Sean! 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 It's just gonna leave it. Sean! Sean! Wait. There might be time to play basketball. Sean! Sean! Screaming. This dude should call 911, probably at this point. Okay, he's got a strawberry chewies. It'll be all right. You unlocked a new bonus, nice! Achievement earned, good friends. Okay. You got the high score. Speedrun again. You lost Sean faster than anyone else who played this game. Congratulations. You can now play on challenge mode. Where it's harder to lose Sean. <laughs> take long? Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Well, I, I could just get up, I guess. No, oh, I could just create an obstruction. <laughs> this man can't get comfy in this chair. 
It's just no good posture to be had. <laughs> Mess it up. Yo, sometimes I just want to dance. I gotta tap that foot, you know? <laughs> okay, I think I have to uh, put on the glasses. Welcome back to the metaverse. What world would you like to go to today? Baseball world, load it. Now this is gaming. He's just really confused. He's just jamming out here. Hang on. But take off the glasses. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. People are trying to oh, work. Captain, Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. Let's go. Get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. It's really struggling with that tie. Method, he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him. Well oh, sorry, sorry. Um, a tie not in a necktie. I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press. They're all over us. What am I mucking up? The killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. <laughs> there are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy. I just like the feel of the fabric. Flowers and origami figures. Just work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. I also don't know how to tie a tie. I'm really trying. No. Oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress. No, I'm really trying, man. It's it's Press hard to make progress with tying the tie. We're gonna have to I know how to do it on me, but when it's someone else in front of me, I don't know how to tie the knot. I need to do it in a mirror. Well, I hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. Oh, forget it. I'll manage. <laughs> oh, go see Charlene. She'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference. If you you're got the bad end, and Sean's an dead now. Political climate around here. Thank you. He tied it. Sir. How'd he do that? Welcome to the club, Jaden. Wait, how'd he do that? I thought he didn't know how to tie one. <laughs> Figured it out. Let's follow this guy around the office. Hang on, I want to see where he's going. Okay, no, he's sitting there. He's sitting there. It was a test and you failed. Let's get some coffee. Gameplay. <laughs> Just want a sip. I'll leave it there for the next guy. A 
That was painful, apparently. He just chucked that on the floor. Jesus Christ, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> he really hated that coffee. He despises the flavor. <laughs> Where are we going, friend? Hey, buddy. Okay, you do just take all the time you need. We can hit the road. Oh, we can take a piss. What motions is he making while he's peeing? I don't even know why that like that's in the game. Like that that was work for someone to animate that. Oh, I forgot to flush the toilet. Hang on. Wash my hands. Come on. I don't know if I want to do it. Wait. There we go. I'm supposed to be doing some detective work, I think, but for some reason... Games let me spend a lot of time here. He looks so shady. <laughs> There's no soap in any of these bathrooms. He's got something to hide. He's still covered in muck as well. Can you see his pant legs? <laughs> oh, good looking air. Having an important conference. Oh, pick me, chief of police! Pick me! That's the guy, that's the guy who was peeing. That is the guy who was peeing. Pick me, I know the answer! This guy's not even talking to him. Nice watch. <laughs> oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sure. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. I mean, you only put in five dollars for the gold watch fund. It might be a bit more. Okay, what what, what have we got going on? I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. I guess I could just wait in the bat room a just while again. Let me know when you're available. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Okay. Case is front page news in all the papers. It's not gonna be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. What? Wait, the cells are right here? What? There's two of them in that one. There's no one in that one. This is 
two people in one of these cells together. He doing all right? Irrigation room. Why are they letting me in all these places? <laughs> You're the FBI. I guess they can't stop me. No. Norman just goes where he pleases. I feel like everyone's just walking around like the office too. But like aimlessly. He's having some trouble there. Having a snooze. You haven't turned on the the monitors, man. That's where we live. Just leaving the office, I guess. But the president gives a speech. <laughs> oh, I got sorry. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? Oh, okay, we gotta get a drink. Oh, he doesn't want the vending machine. It has to be the water cooler. Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Just pretend to give a speech. That should pass the time. Get on up there. Should've drunk that coffee. You should've, yeah. He was disgusted by that coffee. He's like screamed at it. Higher office, like probably just looked his way. He's like, "What the fuck is going on? Is he okay?" Ah, oh, so we're two we're two hours into the game, by the way. I, I think we've played for like ten minutes. <laughs> at least that's how it feels. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. I feel like the studio learned a lot become Detroit Become Human. Get some water. Let's go to the bathroom again. I might have to. I might have to. Hey, are you ready? I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Oh, yeah. Okay, that Captain seems good. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Oh. It's throwing us for a loop. There she goes. <laughs> God, I'm struggling a bit. These legs don't work like they used to. Covered in mud. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. I mean, it's an office. I expected a letter chair. Okay, time to work. Don't need that telephone. No, that's all right. <laughs> Just knock that to the ground. I'm sure that's not important. Uh, 
She's just not gonna pick up the phone. Oh, we're just gonna keep all that down there, okay. Alright, let's pop on the glasses. We can investigate. Step one. Change the office. Oh. Welcome back to the multiverse. Would you like to go? Canada. Welcome to Canada. That will be all. Take clues. Um, analyze the tire tracks. It gives us the model of the car. Probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Okay, that's good to know. No, not cl not clear all. Hang on. Origami figure. Well, I'm kind of wondering at no this point. No or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. What the glasses add in that can't be achieved in like an iPhone? You could just like you know open Notepad or something and document most of this. Just get a nap. It's VR. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. I guess we wouldn't be able to go to Canada on an iPhone. Okay, clear all. C clear all. Uh, files? Okay, origami killer. Victims? Uh, it's open. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. In heavy rain. Okay. We get modus operandi. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. Heavy water. The victims have always rain been dead water. less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. <laughs> Is he reading backwards? <laughs> Yeah, because if you think about it, the text is facing us, the audience. <laughs> He's just that good. It's a metaphor. Society is complicated. Sometimes you have to work backwards to find the truth. David Cage. <laughs> Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. <laughs> Not a single lead to go on. Imagi Ori? <laughs> like... Reculic? Jesus, what a complicated file. <laughs> oh, wait, geo-analysis? No data for geoanalysis. Okay. Just put that away. Okay, uh, we've analyzed the files. We've analyzed the files. Okay. 
You can change the environment? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we did this already. I'm quite happy with Canada. Is there anything on the map? Is, no. Is, is there anything on the map? No data. Maybe I can analyze one of the clues? With the map? The tire tracks, maybe? Geo analysis? No? Takes a while to confirm that. Origami figure? Just oh. one origami store in town. I mean, he could have got his paper somewhere else. Could have got his paper somewhere else, but okay. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Or a Gabby store, that's not a thing. Yeah, that's like a like an office supply shop. The orchid. <laughs> Got a hell of an accent. Great. Oh, there's, there's nothing for the tire tracks. I mean, if there's only one origami store, then presumably that's our lead. There's only one place in the entire city where they can get paper. <laughs> it's got nothing more to say, though. We already analyzed it, yeah? Okay, yeah, we can just close it. Oh. Yeah, I think it's messing with his head a bit. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Okay. I just gotta get some water, I man. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. That's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know he, I can make it. He's not holding up too well. Oh, the room is wobbling. Take trip to? No, no, we. we I don't know what that does, but we can just make it to the bat room. We know where it is. We spent a lot of time there. Is everything all right, sir? <laughs> he just—he's already turned around and is ignoring us. No one will see. You okay? As he turns around. What? You can make it to the bat room. What? I'm suffering some kind of withdrawal, I think. Aftermath, I'm using the VR stuff. Could just be really bad motion sickness. I think that's all it is. I don't know what's going on, by the way. Uh... Oh wait, no, oh this is your man, this is Asian. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. 
It must have been about... I have no idea. <laughs> 515, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. I I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> a black coat. And a pair of pants. <laughs> no. Hey, beige. Beige pants. No, no, How it wasn't beige. have disappeared without you even noticing. Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh, I can't read the up. I took. I went for a walk. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Panic. I, I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what It's not going well, Ethan. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Yes. Sean is a sensitive child. He hates strawberry candy. Our relationship has been a little Doesn't play basketball. Difficult recently. I haven't fed him in two days. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? D yeah, I mean, we're divorced. <laughs> It sounds like a problem. I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling Maybe his mother Maybe not divorce, separate it. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen. Your son's probably just run off, and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Pretty shaken for that one news headline. Why, yeah, why would he say that? <laughs> Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're going to keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. I guess he did wake up with some but origami. A possibility. I did get that one threatened letter in the mail. Probably should have paid attention to that a bit more. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. I miss him so much. <laughs> Say something, man. Say something. You're a human being. <laughs> Oh my god, every time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Scott suddenly appearing on the screen like, kind of triggers like a flight or fight response. I don't know what it is. It's Scott in particular that like makes me real like nervous for a moment. <laughs> you got Shelby? <laughs> Oh, uh, there's a prop, sorry. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. 
Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. He's investigating him. Save Sean? The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son. How would he know? I have four days before we find his body on the How does he know already? No one did anything to save my son. Now you would please what? to move along, sir. Why why does Scott know already? Like it it just happened. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of the store. To Gotta the right. rub it in for the poor guy. Thanks. By the way, you didn't help me. That's a weird thing to highlight. Don't forget those crisps in that aisle. Good evening, sir. Oh no, it's you can already tell what it's going. It's gonna be like Are a robbery. But if you walk particular. down the crisp aisle when you're trying to be stealthy, Don't he's gonna try. know you're here. Open the registry. Don't <laughs> walk down the, the crisp the aisle. Counter. It was the middle aisle. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? <laughs> Just... You do not have the right to steal that money from me. <laughs> Just try to words. leave. You cannot have it. Hey, don't walk down what the crisp file. You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it. You'll hear the crisp. I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. Hey, why did... Come here! Why did you do that, Scott? I said, come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! <laughs> Is this not going well? What if I just... Are you deaf? I said, put your hands up! I'm warning you! I'll shoot! Wait a minute... What if I don't? If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead. I'm not joking, man. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Will the game kill a character this early? Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> don't move, sir. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. Alright. <laughs> No, I'll be all right. Bullet just grazed my shoulder. <laughs> okay. Goddamn punk kid. Doesn't even know how to use a gun. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what would have happened without you. When my boy, Razor... Oh, he's gonna help me now that I got shot, okay. I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Have a look, see. You're surprisingly okay, considering he just got shot. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. Maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. No, I don't trust Scott anymore. He shouldn't know that the uh, Sean being gone. And it's like so heavy handed that like Scott's a good guy. I don't trust him one bit. 
Oh, hello, this is someone new. Now you're looking into it too much. No, but like, but, but it kind of fits though. Cause like, wow, you're so good. And then, cause look, cause, cause we played a David Cage game before. We know the kind of twists he does. Yo, an English essay in high school. So, oh. it makes sense that he's just gonna set up Scott as the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, let's get on up. Oh. Prepare a sense. Oh, people are. Okay, hang on, wait, wait. Hang on. I should probably get this ready just in case we need it. Hang on. Give me one sec. Give me, give me one second. Where am the? Why is this saved? There it is. Okay, Goofy's at the ready, if we need him. Let's turn off the TV. Hang on. You can sit in the chair. We, we can do some stretches. Prep ourselves for the day. I feel like I should stay for the record again. I've, I, even with Detroit Become Human, because I actually did really enjoy that game. I did find it ridiculous at a lot of points. I did genuinely enjoy playing it, though. I might be making fun of the artistic elements of these games, but they tend to be a fun time. They tend to be. From the one that I have played. Because I, I, I think these kind of games are... Good, cheesy fun, right? David Cage does not think that. <laughs> and that's why, like, it may seem like I'm making fun of it. He doesn't think that at all. Like, yeah, he thinks it's, like, the fucking modern-day Ulysses or some shit. They are good, cheesy fun. Funnily enough, if you want to know what I think the best David Cage game is, uh, Until Dawn. <laughs> That's the one I'd wholeheartedly recommend. Until Dawn is David Cage? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. And it's the best David Cage game that's ever been made. Absolutely. No quarry. Quarry was a massive letdown. Oh, so sad with the quarry. I was so excited for it, but like it just wasn't as good. Ending was just really rough, and like it had good bits, but like a lot of it just didn't feel like I had the right payoff. I'm going here. Oh, 
No, that that's to, that's to leave our urban apartment. I never really understand these kind of open floor plans, by the way. Like, I feel like I just trip and fall and break my neck in most of these spaces. It seems like absolutely treacherous to just have like this massive step in your home through your entire living room. Like, what happens if you're old and you're still living here or something? Like, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're not making it out alive. Okay, let's wash our face. Uh, let's look in the mirror. Ales. Harry Potter ass sink. <laughs> this apartment complex was like an old school or something, yeah. Chamber of Secrets is down below. No, this really is just like a school shower or something, like... Why do you need three showers in one home? Do I have to have a shower as well? And did the game not do so good of a job of sensor in this one? Which is why people are saying that I need the goofy fil filter. Alright, okay. It's just, uh... Okay, we're just getting ready for the shower. Jesus Christ, game. They uh they don't they don't seem to be taking as much care to uh censor it in comparison um to Ethan in the shower. Uh she is very naked right now. The water is pouring all over. I'll be honest, she's doing a pretty poor job of showering herself. She hasn't really, like, kind of taken a moment to even scrub. She didn't even use soap. Uh, she just rinsed her body with water. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I don't know how much this is adding to the artistic vision of this game. There's now actually a shake the controller motion. Specifically to dry yourself with the towel that I'm actually quite struggling quite a bit with. Requires a lot of drying down, apparently. Uh, she's still naked. Uh, you, you really gotta take your time putting your clothes back on for some reason. Soap does not exist in this universe. Okay, uh, the shower has now concluded. We should be safe from here. She, she hasn't properly dried herself down, though. I'm gonna be honest. She's done a bit of a poor job here. <laughs> it was absolutely soaked. But shower acquired. The rain scares her. Oh. That can't be good. Hang on. Left the fridge open. It's a very panicked motion. <laughs> Shut the fridge! Shut the fridge! For the love of God!
Oh shit. Oh. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Okay, we go. We're going for the phone. Let's get the phone. Let's get the phone. The phone is gone. She's not doing a great job of hiding. Okay, let's just leave. Let's just leave. Okay, we shaking. We shaking. Of course, the step ladder I keep in the hallway. Wait, how did he get down there suddenly? He fucking teleported. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Wait, the, wait, no! He had the knife in his neck! How is he alive? Oh, there's two of them! Oh, okay. Not going well. Oh. That's not going well. Oh, get it with the lamp. <laughs> I feel like they're teleporting. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of motions. They're just appearing. What did that do? <laughs> what did that do? Oh no. Ooh. Jesus Christ! Not a good place to be. The, the, how how many P Asians are there? <gasps> oh, okay, all right, okay, that it, that explains it. Okay, <laughs> that entire sequence is pointless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so right in one oh one. You don't do the it was a dream all along <laughs> because it's really aggravating as a reader. <laughs> it's just, it's just really annoying practice. It need, uh, people need to stop doing it. <laughs> Nothing happened there. <laughs> But the nudity, like, the point of that scene was to see her naked then. Yeah, that's, that's actually appalling if you think about it. Like, David Cage, why? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen Yeah, maybe we should dwell on this, like, ransom letter or, like, creepy thing we got in the post. Maybe this has something to- this showed up with, like, no return address or anything, maybe this has something to do.
Oh, we missed that in the letter conveniently earlier. That would have been real handy to know. Didn't check I have it to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. First things first, we need to make sure your senses are still on check. Oh no, the bat! Wait, wait! I can't pick it up. Can't pick it up. Basketball's gone. Sad day, gang. Why can I do this? Don't want to leave by the front door. Oh, okay, because the news reporters. <laughs> Hang on, like... Hey guys, what's uh... What's going on here? Disappear. <laughs> Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son you has think disappeared? Your son is still alive? I guess everyone just knows about it now, it, like made the news headlines. Maybe that's how Scott knows about it? But no, Scott knew about it before he even reported it to the police, didn't he? When did Scott find out? Scott was investigating it before. No, Scott was after, okay. It was right after he reported it. So, like, did the police just instantly, like, news broadcast? They must gonna, have. Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Come on, Ethan. You're gonna be all right. What's our locker number again? I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Come on, Ethan. These people are just walking into his face. You're doing great. Okay, she teleported out of existence, I think. Body's just ragdolled. Dad, where are you? Jason! Oh no, not again. It's <laughs> Jason! Excuse me, uh, I got son! I just gotta take care of some people. Dad! Jason! Dad! <laughs> Dad! Jason! Is it just me or like so many of these models were used as well? I feel like I'm knocking down like identical people standing next to each other. We were gonna be playing Hitman tonight. Dad. He's okay.
guy there doesn't even care. So we made it to the luggage lockers. Line 18, box number 3. Okay, let's go. Security scanner. Line 18, box number 3. Is it here? Wait, no, wait, what? 19, 16, hang on, 4, down here somewhere, 18, box number 3. That's the... That's the shoebox Scott collected. Because he just has a lot of shoe boxes. Uh. That's where Sean is. Oh no. Do we get to see what's in the box now? Lucky locker, trophy earned. Good job. Gamer score, get! You got that silver trophy! Our son is missing. That's what's in the box? Oh! How do you get that out of security? It was a security checkpoint. It's a gun. What's the point of the security checkpoint? America, hell yeah. Prepare to show courage to save your son. Okay, so we gotta go. Pop in our SD card. Okay, that can't be good. I think that was the tagline they used to sell the game, too. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Hide it under the bed? Yeah. 
It's such a bad idea to not call 911. Yeah, he should really be calling the police again. He should, like, he should be in contact with them immediately, saying, like, Hey, I, it's a hostage situation. I have footage of my son in the water. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything <laughs> against them? He just pressed triangle a lot. For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done. Sorry, the projector is uh, slightly broken today. And where does all that get us? Remain calm. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Uh, geo profile? Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The, more the projector is still broken, I'm sorry. From his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square mile. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? I, I, I can just, like, lose my shit and, like, not stay calm if I want. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce I feel like design. staying calm is important. We can check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find- that, That's what I'm- that's what I'm suggesting. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Why are you so mad at me? I'm just trying to give my PowerPoint. I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's <laughs> enough! <laughs> you said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? Is the weather forecast is right? Well, I'm sorry! I'm just... I didn't even do anything wrong! Why are you screaming at me? Why? <laughs> he got so angry. Oh, this is awkward. We're working together now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just trying to do no my answer. job and like beat that what I know. Here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. Oh. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. It's calmer now than when he was when I was given my PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot. 
waiting for the end of the Oh, world. Jesus Christ. We questioned him a <laughs> Literally. few back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Yeah, let's hop in here. Holy Bible, New International Version. What's we got? The walls are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible. There's his bed. It was really dangerous to have so many candles there. It's a lot of medication. I don't even think that door was locked. <laughs> it's just the bathroom. That wasn't locked. He didn't need to kick that. It's just on a roll. This place doesn't look like it's doing too well. There's more medication. I think one of them is just multivitamins. That one's not so bad. The rest of them might be a bit worrying. Oh god, multivitamins! He's getting his daily vitamin C! Oh, is there anything else? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Just immediately arrest. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Stand a bit closer. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. That's not looking too good for him. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Uh... We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak. This doesn't seem to be helping the situation. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, Blake I can't what are you talk doing? about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders That's you enough. to go and find Leave new prey, alone. doesn't he? he <laughs> Just shout over him. This isn't doing anything. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. That wasn't a great intervention. Carter, he told you to go shit. and find that kid you in the park. Your mind? The voices <laughs> tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. That's enough. It's not a great intervention. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? Oh. Jesus no. Christ. Stop. I'm intervening. Stop. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna I am preventing this situation right now. 
I am in control. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Mr. Dash. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! What if I don't, though? Are you sure? Down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team. Calm down. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Just calm down. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Psychology? Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows. <laughs> okay, we're just improvised at this point. Peace. Back away, slowly. Okay, he's listening. He's listening. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Take the shot. <laughs> Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker. Oh, it's, it's just a crucifix. In the name of the Lord, <laughs> I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak. The show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Well, the game really wanted me to do that. Problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. It's Skyrim music playing. Ah, it's Jesus, Scott. Gotta stop doing that. It's only him. I don't know why. Every time. Okay. Hop on in here. I, I can just open the window. A baby. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. That's, that's quite worrying. And I go in through the back. Another door. There we go. Uh, this is both. Hello, baby. How you doing? Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for your mama? Anybody home? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, that can't be good. Uh Mrs. Bowles. 
Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Can we break down the door? Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Uh, can we help? What the fuck game? Uh, okay, walk to the bed. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. Scott, I don't think the appropriate okay. response is just don't to say look. okay to that. I I'll think she right might back. need to go. <laughs> Scott, please. You have a bit of responsibility right now. Uh, we got anything here? Listen, I need this, and this, and this. Now, come on, Scott. I'm here for you, Susan. Yeah. You'll be all right. It's not muck this up. I'll take care of you. Oh, I need uh, more. I'm still I did. bleeding. Hang on. Stay with me, Susan. Susan. Didn't do that intentionally. There, I was just holding Susan, the other direction. Can you hear Come me? Come on. Not perfect, but it'll do. What the fuck is that input? Okay, just spin it. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Okay, right. we can get the baby. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> hey, come on, Scott. Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Th th this whole situation feels so weird. Like, yeah, this, this is a very heavy-handed sequence. They're just chucking the game. But then also while they're talking, it's like... Th they don't feel like people again, do they? It, like, this is real weird. They're so emotionless. You're not truly immersed, RT. I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I've always wanted to play true this. I really love Detroit Become Human, even Hi if it's there, a Emily. bit jank in parts. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Like, we should already be calling, like, an ambulance or some shit. Okay. Like, this is just weird. Like, graphic suicide attempt. Can you change a, ba a baby's diaper? <laughs> this, this 
this gameplay is not matching the situation too well. <laughs> this is just weird. Why are we doing this? There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? There we go. Oh, the baby's safe. Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. The baby needs the bottle. I guess I better warm this thing up. He's got like a, hey, forget about it attitude, like, but it's quite a serious scene. There we go, there you go. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay hang on. It's tricky. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Hang on, I've, I've never had to do this before. Hang on. Hang on, baby. I'm trying. Okay, I'm okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better this time. I got it, baby. I'm trying. Were you getting it? You're not getting it. What? Oh. Hold. Uh, it's press up. Okay, but go okay, slow. I'll do better this time. I promise. <laughs> what? I can't do it. Are you getting it? You're not getting it. Just so go all the way up? How do you it's not go thing? all the way up. Oh, okay, it worked that time. Right, it didn't it didn't last time. That baby just fucking downed that. Holy shit. That's an entire pint in one go. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now. That baby's right? gonna throw up everywhere in a minute. No. I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. All right. I just realized what's so unsettling. The baby's not blinking. Oh wait, no, no, there we go. Okay, never mind. Wait, let me get that shot again. <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind. Go, baby's falling asleep. For some reason, the baby to me looks like. Oh, just just drop him. <laughs> oh. The baby looks like Sorry, like, like, you know, like Pixar's first attempts right. at CGI hmm. and animation, or like DreamWorks or something. 
That shot there, like there's something like Andy from to the original Toy Story vibe about that. Where it just doesn't quite look right. Oh my god. Of course, the commentary here on the controls being so difficult is like, well, the difficulty of raising a child far surpasses any of these situations. As a parent, it is harder than any situation you can get in. It's all a metaphor. Now, channel. Put him now, channel. But, uh, <laughs> oh, Shelby, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> Put down the child! <laughs> Baby is now sound asleep. How you doing? Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope oh, anymore. Oh, sorry. No, I'm supposed to sit down. Hang on. What's this one? Just not having Jeremy around. Hang on, I can't get comfy. He's such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? <laughs> Doesn't so Jeremy's many father options. live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. <laughs> it's so awkward. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... Do it anymore. Jesus I Christ. understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and there was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. We should really be calling I her and maybe I'm an ambulance. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. This seems really irresponsible. Like, well, see ya. What? Like, he's just leaving. He's just going. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I have to go get a phone. Check on the baby. You take care of your mama. Okay, well, I guess we just go on our merry way. We're not even gonna try and make sure she's in safe or capable hands. We're just gonna leave. Like, what the fuck, game?
Uh, thank you, AH, uh, for contributing towards my Cult the Lamb, uh, Cult's Totem. Appreciate it. Uh, this is not that game. But, it's still very kind of you. Again, no reaction. Eaton pops up on the screen. I'm not scared. It's just Scott for some reason. That was fine. I saw that happen. Come. He fears old men confirmed. <laughs> okay. Hop over here. We got our first challenge. Excuse me? Hey. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Uh, I got this for you. I'd like to get... my car. Oh. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. I would, Here, that must have cost a now. lot the of service money. Service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Thanks. Now you have yourself a good one, Chief. Parking ticket is going to be extortion at the gate. There's no way a shop would agree to that. No, probably not. <laughs> like, he didn't even pay. Must have been prepaid. He'd take out a mortgage for the ticket, presumably. Yeah, there's our car. <laughs> we can just... Signal boost it. God, that car's not looking too good. Oh, what happened there? Hop on in. Ethan still hasn't called the police for some reason. Check the glove box. We got. Uh, anything else? Got like a GPS that's been left here for us. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Okay. That up two years in advance. Get going. Jeez, he's just veering out in front of traffic. Keep to the right and take the first exit.
Yeah, this seems like a safe place to park. It's just the it's just the interstate. You have reached your destination. In the middle of fog. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached what? your destination in five minutes, you will have saved. Holy shit! If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only lead. No turning Wait, back I, now. I, I, this is me whenever I jokingly play racing games because I always drive on the left. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. I think I can do this. Come on. It's just me in any driving game. Except. I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. I probably should be calling the police at this point. There we go. Wrong way. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus. I don't give you much time. Wait, what does it want me to do? <laughs> oh my god. You still have four miles to go before you reach your destination. Get out of the way! This is so dangerous! God! Okay, he wasn't a person. Oh. oh my god! Jesus! Let's go through the tow boat. Gonna be okay. It's just ram him. Come on. Come on. God, the motion controls barely register sometimes. Oh, fuck. Just carve apart. Ah. Oh no, no, no! Shit! I missed one at the end! But it's okay, we made it. Destination reached. Your reward is in the glove compartment. I checked the glove compartment. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is in Just gotta take a moment to like bash that in. Oh, the glove compartment was locked. Okay, I couldn't check it. Hang on. I need to get the key. There we go. Okay, the fires get started to get real bad, Eden. Come on. Come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! God! <sighs> I 
that went okay. Got a new video. Don't think Sean's doing too well. We got a few characters for Hangman. Five rep. And the cops gave up. It's word. <laughs> Man, today's today's word is a real, real tough one. I've uh, been trying to figure this out for a while. I thought it was supposed to only be five characters. Yeah, wasn't that car locked there for two years? There's like, there's no way anyone could have accessed that. We just uploaded the video, Sean. Okay, let's, uh, let's hop in here. Just finished taking a massive shit. Hello, where's we are? What can I do for you? Oh no. I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Hmm. Feeling the register. Stranger danger. Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Okay, we good. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. It's just weird that the game would put a camera shot there, but all right. Okay, let's just keep going to our room. Uh, 201, was it? Gotta get more stairs. Oh, there's gonna be people just walking about here again, I think. Here. Okay, 209. Oh, 211, it's the other way. Seven, two oh five, we're down here. Oh, how you doing, Sir? Eden? Are you all right? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Ah. 
All right, come on. Let's let you down. Did he pass 207? No, there's stairs there. There's stairs there. Have you got the key? Right, it's gonna be okay. Because I missed one quick time event right at the end when the car flipped off the road. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. But it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Well, see you later. That's all we got. Uh, which meds do we want? I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah, uh, take this ammo. This is really gonna sting. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Okay, it's it's not not even making contact there. There we go. There we go. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Uh, let me see what other meds we got. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Yeah, you could probably use that. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Oh, no. I can't afford to wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I could kill you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. That's like an immediate overdose. Let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, what? Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. We're just searching his stuff now. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come All and right. spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Uh. I'm a photographer. Oh, because we put the box under the bed. Now Madison can't find design it. Magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. We can just look out the window. Let's keep looking through his stuff, see what we can find.
Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Like I can walk okay. off that car crash now. I better get going then. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Time for the next clue. Get the box. No lung preparation for me. Yeah, uh, he's got internal bleeding right now. Ethan's not going to be long for the world if he doesn't hurry here. Convenient the origami. Yeah, you numbered the origami for us. What's next? Old power plant on Embarcadero Street. Why were those meds just in a random motel bathroom? That's a good question. Yeah. Did he buy him earlier? I don't think he did. He only had time. They were just there. It's a med bar. Is it an American thing, maybe? No doll motels, just have heavy narcotics lying around. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. We didn't Come need on, the kill. Come on, you a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. That'd just be ironic. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. Just don't want Street to be aggressive. <laughs> being through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? He's got like a smug smile on his face there. <laughs> Norman was loving that. <laughs> That's him. The fucking smirk. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh! Shit, don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Oh, here we go! Ah. Hey man, watch ah. it, dude! Oh god, he's just going. Oh! Ah. Hey. Please move out of the way. Ah. Hey, watch it, man! Uh. Oh. Jeez, there's a lot of hazards in this shop. <laughs> Why is there so many obstacles? Hey man, watch it. Uh, why are we up here? Even a cop. Yeah, hang on. It, it's Slippy. <laughs> the way the chickens. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's in there.
Do you see him? Is he in the back? <laughs> Jesus! We just want to talk to him! He doesn't even know what it's about, we could have been asking for the time! Norman. I think we got him. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> don't know what it is. I think it's the eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why is it only Scott? <laughs> it feels way more intense. Mm. <sighs> yeah, what we got? Turn on a light. Have a look at our report. Okay, we can look around. What we got in our drawers? Take our inhaler. Ugh. Get some of that in. Uh, go on, get some whiskey in too. Let's kick that back. Take the edge off. Can we get some more whiskey? No, we can't get more whiskey. Police badge. We have a gun. Might need that later. Take a look at our files. I only saw one name on the folders there. Got a nice... Map we printed off. Got an actual photo on the right there. Actual human beings. In case you've forgotten what they look like. I haven't played this game. <laughs> What's in the fridge? Kick back some more beer.
It's here. Origami killer strikes again. Wait, was that Greek and Turkish fighter jets collide? What that says. Okay. Hello? Oh, wait, no, that, that's not my front door. Hang on. Hang on. No, I'm getting, I'm getting further away for some reason. Hang on. Just, uh, just, uh, just a minute. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Where's the front door? Oh, Scott, if you could walk a little bit faster, please. Where's the front door? Is it? You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Good. Can I come in? Sure. People comparing his Scott to Peter Griffin. Please take a seat. Guys, no. <laughs> Guys, please, this is a serious game. It takes itself very seriously. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Have a look, see. Alan Winner. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Uh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Scott's got an old typewriter. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Uh... Diplomatic? There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. It'll be dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <laughs> I love how the word fridge is printed on the fridge. Just thanks for sharing that. Uh <laughs> <sighs> We're partners.
It's all a metaphor. Maybe Is that a fridge brand <laughs> Holy shit, is that a car brand? Car? No way. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? It's so difficult to hear over this music that's playing. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Hop on in. Is there a party on inside or something? Oh, okay. There's people there. What a joy! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? Have a look we'll for Kramer's decor. How does time. someone pass out there? Are we gonna be <laughs> That? I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Just sit okay. in the chair. Just let me know if you need me. There's a lot of people on the floor. Uh I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Uh, bribe him? I got another five dollars. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it. I How many dollars is that? How many dollars is Franklin? I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. It's a hundred. Feel like you need more for a bribe. If he's got like hired security, feel like you need more. Come on, Scott. I let you take like a lot of looks just in the mirror. We're gonna be able to pee here too. Hang on. Important. It lets you do this in every scene for some reason. Hang on, wash your hands. We're not barbarians. But we don't. There's still no soap. Still no soap. <laughs> Flush the toilet. Hang on, there we go. Whoa! You Whoa. see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What he said? The bastard! Ah, oh, sort him out! Oh, there he goes. Uh, Excuse me, gang. Good evening. He's, he's still going. Just keep going upstairs. Keep going upstairs. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> uh, are you who I need to talk to? <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> is 
he watching? <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! I thought he was talking to what us. You want. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. It's not the sinister. I arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Uh, be sarcastic. Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Don't be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. And I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. But you're not, though. I you're... did that because... You're really I'm not, are you? Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Origami. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Adam Sandler's real mean in this Get universe. This clown. Oh, here we go. Oh. Come on, Scott. Scott seems to have had like the most violent scenes. But, like just fighting people with a lot of <laughs> Although we did have that grocery chase. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. I'll just leave him to his cartoons. We'll be back later. laughs hysterically at the credits. <laughs> there's, not, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's got not question anyone without shit going wrong. Apparently not, no. Our next task. Eden's a contestant on the worst game show ever. Head on inside. Oh. 
Alright. I guess we'll give up. Oh wait, no, it might be the other way with that big ruin that's just in the middle of the road for some reason? What happened there? Here we go. No? It's not the way in? I don't think this is the way in. How do I get inside? This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. I tried the front door, but I don't think the front door worked. Can I try it again? It might be a trap. I had better be careful. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I don't know how to get in. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. Up around here. Keep gates locked. Guard, well, thank you for the zero tree. Thank you very much. You pressed X to Sean yet, Dan. <laughs> I have given it a go. Is there a back door? What the fuck do I get in? Is it there? Look for the butterfly, is it? Hey. Right. Oh, there we go. Ah. Thought I did that right, but okay. Traces of blood have been found and it's eaten. Glasses guy is gonna come get us. In we go. Yeah, sure, let's just turn this. I uh, no idea what it does. <laughs> Open it up. By the match. I can just quickly extinguish that if I want it. Oh, good God. That's very bad. That's just a bunch of broken glass. Whoa. 
Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have okay, to. Okay, no, you wait, use Slowly your coat. So don't tear up my arms. Use your coat to like sweep it. No? No, you're not you're not gonna you Well, this is gonna be pa a painful few minutes. Uh, do you wanna go left or right? Follow the butterfly. Oh, slowly, slowly, sorry. <laughs> the match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Oh, wait, no, I, I, I didn't mean to use another match. Hang on. Follow the wind. There's no way to go slow, by the way. Wait, oh no, wait, if it's pointing left, that means I go right, doesn't it? Oh shit, I already turned the wrong way. Because that's the way the wind's blowing. Oh shit. Okay, we can go right here. Oh no, that's where the wind's coming from, isn't it? Gotta turn around. Go real slow. Okay, you can go slow. I, pro I probably hurt eating a lot. That's all right. Stop here. Okay, so should I go left? The way it's blowing. It's <laughs> the way the wind is going. No, no, Ethan. Ethan, for fuck's sake, why didn't you go left? Ethan! Ethan! Turn around! No, Ethan! <laughs> Ethan, go left! <laughs> no! Why won't he go left? I'm pressing left. Rats, charming. If they got in, then maybe I can get out. Do I just go that way? <laughs> I need to turn around. <laughs> He's turning a lot in this broken. Fucking glass. Okay, go that way. Ethan! Ethan! Go in the left!
Okay. Go. Go that way, Eaton. Oh, thank God. Okay, he did it. Probably very badly hurt after he rolled in the glass three times. Okay, light a match. Okay, it's going to the right. This all could have been avoided if he just hopped the wall or something. He could have just broken a window. Down the fun slide. Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. In we go. Isn't? <laughs> you must. Oh, I gotta let go. Okay. I gotta let go. God. He's okay. God, the pipe is perfectly human in size. It is quite convenient. What's even the purpose of that pipe? Oh, this looks dangerous. Well... Coward! Okay, I mean... That one's not electrocuted. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. I really gotta not mess this up. Is this the correct one in front of me? I am guessing so. Okay, probably not the one in front of me. I think I have to go left. No? 
I can't I can't do the one in front of me. What what's the prompt there? I actually can't see it. Do I have to go back? I think I have to go back. Jesus Christ. Twister, but hard mode. I have to go to the left here, isn't it? Spicy Twister. That's, uh, R1. L2. R2. Oh! Okay, you made it. He made it! That last one wasn't press and hold, that was mash it. That's what that's the mistake I made. Okay, uh which way is it now? It's to the right, yeah? I can't, I can't see what the prompt is. Right, mash X. Okay, and then forward, yeah? We have to press every button. Mash X. So badly hurt. Hands are very sweaty. Okay, one more. What, what am I doing? Oh, okay, right, it's just a roll. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was a pretty cool sequence. God's not looking too good. I mean, it's Roosevelt something. Roosevelt Park? Four words? Four letters? Roosevelt Lane? Yeah, it could be a few. There had to have been an easier way in there. <laughs>
How did someone, like, take the time to position all that glass, like, down that pipe, too? That would have taken a lot of work. They would have had to go into, crawl into the pipe, start, like, place it bit by bit, and then, like, make their way out. Like, painting the floor or something. Oh my god. He's okay. <laughs> Just having a rest. He had a night out on the town. Oh my, all the shards of broken glass in him. He's in heavy pain. <laughs> you know what? Good night's rest will do him some good here. He's Ethan. just bleeding from like 12 different Ethan, places. Can you hear me? Uh, what do I, what do I do? You've got a hell of a fever. I think that's the least of his concerns. Are those burn marks on your chest? <laughs> Arms oh. look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Just a flesh wound. I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. I'm a lot of pain. Jesus Christ. That's pretty bad. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Okay, uh, let's let's get some meds real quick. <laughs> That's a lot of ketchup. It's like, wow, you made a real mess eating your spaghetti, didn't you? There's tomato sauce everywhere. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Um. To okay. Uh. Disinfectant. Crap! That's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. Oh, I'm sorry. My defense, I haven't had to treat burns this severe ever in my life. I think I burnt myself once while I was cooking. Just ran my hand under cold water. Your wounds are disinfected. I was okay. Here, take take some medicine. Uh, get some ointment on you. I don't know. 
Yo, he's in a lot of pain. But he did have a fever. <laughs> so maybe the game wants this. Put some ointment on. This is this is really gonna hurt. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. That should ease the pain. Uh, okay. He probably needs some bandages somewhere. I think getting the baby to sleep was harder than this section. Hang on, hang on, up. Oh, sorry, sorry, hang on. Let me try that again. Let me just spin you a bit. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. I mean, I'm hoping he's okay. <laughs> Did I heal him properly? To really call an ambulance at some point. <laughs> There's still a lot of shards of broken glass in them. <laughs> There's glass everywhere, we didn't even deal with that. <laughs> yeah, his knees are just like, you can just see the blood on his legs. He's okay. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for a long? About three hours. <laughs> he says not much of a reaction. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Uh, memory? When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Uh, truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. Uh, explanations? That's the second time I found you in a bad way. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? Hypothesis. You mixed up with the Mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? I 
Listen, I am truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Uh, let's help. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. I guess he'll just die next time. Let's get our next clue. Prepare to make a sacrifice to save your son, 9711 Marble Street. Okay, I think that's probably the best point to leave it for tonight. I think that's I the do it. I swear I didn't do it. The FPS is tanked. I think that's the best point to leave it. Uh we will pick this up again on Thursday. I think maybe we, we stop there for the night, because it's almost midnight. We've been going for uh, almost five hours. Yeah, so we'll, we'll play this more uh, on Thursday's stream. Uh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> this game's a bit more of a mess uh, to Detroit Become Human. Uh, I, I, think, I, think, I think the gameplay and like the reaction and maybe the... It's the lack of emotion. <laughs> For a game that's all supposed to be about emotion? Uh, like, I, I'm still hugely enjoying it, but possibly for the wrong reasons. Is maybe the best way to describe it. Like, it's unintentionally hilarious in a lot of scenes, and I, I it's really not supposed to be. It's an absolute train wreck in Utters. I, I think it's like the tone that they're trying to convey is way too fucking much for this medium to tackle. Maybe how I would describe it. Uh, oh, that is not... Hang on. I'm not loading. Hello? There we go, there we go. Yeah, I, I, I think the subject matter it's trying to tackle in some of these is it's just wildly inappropriate. You know? Like, you save a woman from suicide and then you have like, cute mini game where you, you're talking to a baby. And it's just like, like, there's a real dissonance as to what's happening. It's like, clearly not been thought through. Detroit Become Human definitely has its problems as well. It absolutely does. Um, but I think here, I, here it feels way more glaring. It, it feels really bad in a lot of respects. I think Detroit does. I think there's. No, I, 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 don't, I don't even think, like, saying this is less prob. Like, Detroit has less problems and this is even fair. Like, no, no, Detroit has a lot of problems. Detroit has a lot of problems. But I think Detroit also has a lot of more cinematic moments. So you're kind of distracted from some of those issues. Like, Connor and Hank, their relationship in Detroit just almost carries that entire game. It's, it's so good. Like, just that double act. I'll be honest, I don't know if I care about any of the characters. <laughs> so far. But we'll keep going. I'm really not too attached to Sean. <laughs> and I'm actually still surprised that Jason's dead. Genuinely surprised. Oh, God. But of course, it's all a metaphor for society. You know, society's not supposed to entertain you. Society is gritty. Sometimes society is a disappointment. Maybe that's the metaphor. <laughs> oh, Jesus.
You hate Ethan. I don't particularly care about him. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I, I'm just not convinced that he cares about his kids. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, speaking of Connor, speaking of the best part of the Detroit Become Human, Connor and Hank, uh, I'm going to leave you in Brian and Amelia's care. Uh, they are opening some Pokemon cards, and that sounds like a good old time. That sounds like a fun old time. Please wish them well. They're so wonderful. Go say hey to Brian and Amelia. Uh, thanks for coming though, folks. I'll be back on Thursday. I uh, will play some more of this and, and see how far we get. I feel like if we do a long, uh, like, like maybe a slightly longer stream Thursday, we might be able to finish this. We got like two of the trials done, yeah? There's five total. I feel like it might, we might get there. Okay, thanks for coming, folks. I'll see y'all then. Have a good night.